If you're hearing this, it means you downloaded the Heather, Dan and Ben podcast. Oh, God. Oh, no. No. Jam-packed full of the best bits of today's show. Blah, blah, blah. It's your wee-wee. Get naked, Benny. Go on. Where do I go to find the sausages? I'm marrying you, Dan. That's a nipple. <laughs> so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> yeah, it's Heather, Ben and Num <laughs> Uh, You mean Heather, Dan and Ben. Yeah. Let the podcast begin. And I am leaving. I'm oh, going. Am I having a stroke right now? Hey all. Morning. Morning. I love you, Hump Day. We're getting closer. You can smell it. Yeah. yeah. Can't tell. Thick with Friday. Yeah, it's it's thick. Thick Hump Day. Yeah. Oh. Want, isn't it? Hey, Sammy it's Jade's special. on the show today as well. Samantha Jade. Yep. Mm-hmm. She's amazing. She has got a new disco album coming out. She's bringing disco back. I feel like I want to ask her about Disco Sticks, which was a Lady Gaga reference back in the day. What is a Disco Stick? Let's uh, see if something. Do you have a ride on the Disco Stick? Thank you very much. She yeah. knows it's Lady Gaga. Speaking of... Very provocative. It is very provocative. If you're riding on a Disco Stick, it can't be like a whacking stick then, can it? Well, you can whack it. <laughs> no, is that oh. what it is? Is it a... Are we... Is we really a, gonna come stop? on, guys. Buddy, come on. Oh, kids in cars going to really, really early starting schools. <laughs> <laughs> they need help. <laughs> a lot. So they do have to listen yeah. to this conversation. Sorry. Big day today in the Hannett household. It's a massive day in the Hannett household. I've, it's, I've been married 13 years, and 13 isn't a lucky number. I forgot my wife's and I's our actual wedding anniversary this year, and mm. it's my wife's birthday today. And, and when did you remember? Yesterday, when you told me the date, and it just popped into your head. So we're so, gonna have Emma on later. So you, happy birthday to my wife today. Yeah. Big 33 today. Oh, I shouldn't call it big. I'll but not have said big. Yeah, probably not ideal. Did you wake up this morning and give her a kiss and say, happy birthday, big stuff? (laughs) (laughs) That would have gone down so well. big unit. (laughs) Uh, You big hunk of woman. I'm just going to shut my mouth. (laughs) (laughs) We'll have to get Emma on later and see how it all unfolded. Also, your youngest son has written you another baby letter. Oh, great. (laughs) Um, That's nice. (laughs) It's the Heather, Dan and Ben podcast on 90.9 CFM. It's a great day, the 8th of August, isn't it? It's my mum's birthday tomorrow. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've known that for quite some time. In fact, How long have you known that for, Dan? Uh, well, I've known that for decades, and I, I don't you? think I've ever forgotten my mum's birthday. Maybe really? once or twice. I know what you two peanuts are doing, okay? <laughs> yes, I know, yes. After the show yesterday, the promo girls were in here, Bronte and Kristen, and they were talking about filming some stuff for our hide-and-seek yeah, game. to do it today, yep. To do it today. And they said, um, just put it in your diaries or whatever and someone said what's the date and yeah they, I asked for the date because I always like, put things in my diary because I like to remember things that are coming yeah. up so it's like, so tomorrow the 8th of August mm. and then Ben suddenly it was if if this was a movie we would have zoomed in on his face like this <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> because he yelled out oh god it's Emma's birthday and then I ran over and we started recording <laughs> what did you just remember it's Emma's birthday tomorrow what have you done for it so much I don't know what. I've well, done, done nothing. You've done so many I've things done nothing. you're overwhelmed. Yeah. Holy smokes. What are you going to do? I don't know. Do you reckon she knows you've forgotten? Uh, I haven't even she, mentioned it. Will she try and remind you, you think, today? Will she drop little hints? I hope so. I so what is it? Th- yeah. She's 33. 33. What do, what do you get? What do you get for that? What are you talking about it like it's a wedding anniversary? <laughs> uh, I'm, in my defence, I've been married thirteen years, and thirteen isn't a lucky number. I know I forgot our wedding anniversary on the, and yeah, last year. But, but I, I remember this year, morning. Yeah. I said happy birthday. But yesterday, I went to so much trouble and length to try and organise something. In did time. you? I did. What you got? So this morning, I'm taking to the biscuit cafe, her favourite mm-hmm. cafe. I, I, for your, what, 10 minutes? Because then you've got to come. <laughs> no, your favourite cafe, not her favourite cafe. We, you, we, you we got to oh, that your... She likes it too, dear. <laughs> she does like does it. Does she go there because you go there? Have you ever asked her if she likes it? Well, it's delicious. Yeah, have you asked her? We're, it is delicious. We're doing that and then tonight <laughs> taking all the kids. Let me, let, me guess, let me guess, let me guess. QT, you're going to go to the buffet, you're going to go to Bazaar. Of course, it's the best buffet. She you loves it. You take us there all the time. It's your favourite buffet. Yeah. That, I mean, it is amazing. But it's great once buffet. again, it's your favourite thing again. Mm. But. This is this is the kicker. This is the big one. I organised yesterday. I had to ring Sony Direct because it's sold out. Would you get her a signed Wally Lewis jersey? No, <laughs> no, better, even better. What? I got her tickets front row and centre mm. to the Pink concert on Tuesday night. 
I'm pretty sure that's your favourite concert to go to. You've been how many times again? Seven, eight, eight times? No. No, just six. Oh, only six. Yeah. That, once again, your favourite artist also she... has gastro and may not even play. <laughs> Get the party so she'll play. She's she'll coming just called, up. Yeah, she'll just be called brown or green. <laughs> Playing the brown organ. So, so okay, all of your favourite things, Ben Hannett. Well, I've organised last minute. I, I bet they were already probably booked in. You were probably going to Biscuit. You just would have called the guys over there at QT. You would have called Simon, the rooms manager or something there, who's your mate and booked in at QT. And then the pink tickets you probably already had because you were going. You forgot. <laughs> <Basically>. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> 13, 12, 16. Why do we open up the phones? Does anyone on the Gold Coast forget anniversaries and birthdays more than Ben? I would like to know. Oh, oh not shit. possible. I don't think it's possible. We can award a prize, 13, 12, 16. I imagine we're going to get a lot of women calling in here. How about Suns versus Richmond this Saturday? Metricon Stadium. Hang on. Book now, Hang on. Well, well, that's another present I can give Emma because I'm taking her and the kids to that. So happy birthday again, Emma. See, another great thing I've done for Already her. booked in, mate. Already booked yeah, in. Don't you count. forgot. Don't count. Do you know what, though, Benny, in your defence, I forget my birthday every year. Your own birthday? Yeah, I forget about it. Okay. Just can't remember it's happening. Sometimes I even forget the date. I'm like, is it the 8th or the 10th of December? I'm you're pretty own, sure it's 10th. You're on a birthday. Sure. You, you, you do lose interest in as you get older, yeah, especially yeah, yeah. above 30. Yeah, you're like, oh, that, that old thing. Oh, I, should, we, we should <laughs> you I just think I've been unlucky this year. And what about the last couple of decades? I've been unlucky the last, <laughs> <laughs> last couple of years. 13, 12, 16, give us a call right now. Do you know someone, or maybe you're even married to them, or they're your partner, who forgets more stuff than Ben Hannon? It's the Heather, Dan and Ben podcast on 90.9 CFM. And it is the 8th of August, Benny. Yeah, my wife's birthday. Happy birthday, Emma. Yeah. Happy Emma is on the phone. We'll chat to her my in a sec. amazing wife who I love so dearly. Yeah, so dearly that you forget her birthday almost every to year. To my defence, I've got seven kids. I work. I'm busy. I'm... But don't they talk about it? Wouldn't Kai bring it up? No, no. Oh, mum's birthday's but, coming up. But, but who cares? You, do you have an iPhone? Yeah. Put it in there. I don't know how to do that. Google it. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> do you forget stuff more than Ben had it? Who pretty much, your track record's not great as a big fan. No, no, it, yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> no, I, I'm just going to shut up because I'm just digging myself <laughs> further in a hole. 13, 12, 16, Naomi in Upper Coomera. What goes on with forgetfulness at your place? Um, both of us, my husband and I, we forget our anniversary nearly every year. We've been married six years in November. And, um, yeah, I think three or four out of the five anniversaries that we've had, we've both forgotten. Do you just remember it like a month later and go, oh, we forgot um, our anniversary? Yeah, two years ago we remembered it two days later. Did you did you go celebrate it or were you just like, nah, uh, No, we were just like, oh. I just texted my husband while he was at work, did you realise it was our anniversary two days ago? Happy anniversary. <laughs> and he's like, oh, yeah, it was. Because he's too engrossed in your love. Yep. You're just in love and you don't need it. Yeah. And we've four kids, so... Naomi, you really could have played a card there. She could have just turned around to him and gone, have That's you forgotten something? And hell. acted like you remembered the whole time. Yeah, you do, yeah. Get a few extra presents. Get some chocolate oh, out of it. Yeah. yeah, do that next But time. as you realise, she's only newly married for six years. That's yeah. something a wife of ten years' experience would come up with that. And we will be She'll ch- work into it. We'll be chatting to Emma in a sec, Benny, to see what kind of punishment oh. she has for you. <laughs> no, she's too busy getting the kids to school. Leave oh, her out of this. Is she? Oh, we'll oh find, no we'll birthday. Find, That's that, nice. That comment won't come back to haunt you <laughs> in a sec. Cody in... Uh, Umra, what's the go with you, mate? Yes, um, well, today is my birthday and I've forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> you are worse than me. Until you heard my us life. talking about birthdays, it reminded yes. you. Happy birthday, mate. Happy birthday, Kate. Thank you. Have you, you forgotten th- before or is this the first year you've forgotten your own birthday? Is this like a regular occurrence? The first, I think, I think the year's gone too quick and then mm. all of a sudden, bam. Yeah. yeah. Well, How old are you, Cody? 22. Yeah, they're down. Yeah, it gets worse. Now. Yeah, they're really down. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, though, mate. Enjoy it, all right? What are you going to do for it? Um, nothing, sir. That's a spirit. Well, to be fair. Should you... forget that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Book something in at a nice restaurant oh, no, and, then, and then not go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kerry in Labrador, before we get to Emma, Benny's wife, this is verging on Ben Hannon material. How many years in a row did your husband forget uh, your birthday? Three years. 
the hat trick. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, perfect. Oh. All right, let's make that up oh. to you. Suns v Richmond this Saturday, Metricon Stadium, 12.30, book now at Ticket Tech. Did he at least on the fourth year when he remembered make it extra special and amazing and make a point to the fact that he remembered? I'll let you know the 25th of September. Oh, it's, so, it's, it's continuing. Oh, Mark Nico, that in the calendar. You know what to do. <laughs> Kerry, stay on hold. We're going to get your details. We'll check back in September, make sure that he's remembered. <laughs> we might give him a call over here, actually. I'll, I'll Kerry, the day after. Yeah. Kerry, how do you remind him after the fact that it's your birthday? Like, do you, is, do you nah, stick the dagger in? I just in let or? him slide. I just let him slide. Right. How long have you been married oh. for? 19 years this oh, okay. year. You're you an are amazing a good person. person. Yeah. yeah. All right, stay on hold, Kerry. We're going to get those details. Emma in Tally Valley. Happy, Happy birthday, babe. Thanks, guys. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Happy birthday Em. You're a star. Thank so, you. Were you listening a second ago when Benny revealed what he has for, in inverted commas, you for your birthday? Yeah, all his favourite. <laughs> so Biscuit Cafe, which is his uh, favourite cafe. Pretty, he, he was talking about um, buying pink tickets a while ago, so yes. I don't know why it's all of a sudden for my birthday. And he wasn't going to take me. I think it's just now that um, he has to make up a present, he's now taking me. Well, you're coming now, so it's, it's like... Well, she, she was coming as of, what, 10 a.m. yesterday when you remembered it was her birthday, yeah? I think I've, I think I've already been to Pink, like, three of the concerts that you've taken me to. Yeah, of course, Em, because it's his favourite artist. Which is amazing, like, this is a new it's, one. Yeah, it's... Is my favourite artist or his <laughs> favourite artist? I was going to ask that. Who's your favourite artist? Hang on, actually, well, wait, don't answer that. Emma, Ben, who is Emma's favourite artist? <sighs> Can we go with, like, uh, I'm, I'm going to go yeah. with what? Beyonce. Emma? I don't know if you're a Beyonce <laughs> person. <laughs> no, I would have loved to have gone to Ed Sheeran, but he didn't take me to that one. He took um, Garth Brennan to the Oh, yeah, you took the coach of the Titans. It was a special night. But you're the it song. It was a special night for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Emma, oh. let's let's just dig a little deeper here. Benny, when did you buy these pink tickets? Oh. Oh. Ben, don't answer. Just don't answer. I'm, I'm, I Stop. don't want to answer, but the, the, the truth just keeps coming. I, who? Who did you buy the pink tickets for? My brother asked a couple of months oh. ago if I could get some, and so I got. Oh God! You hey, get a really me. put it on. Turn it on tonight, big fella. The buffet, a bizarre QT. So now oh, he'll have food all down his face. He'll be turning it on big time. Oh. It's the Heather Dan and Ben podcast on ninety point nine CFM. Samantha Jade in the studio. Hello. What's happening? Tell us about all things disco while well, I just throw a bit of this on for you. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? You're bringing it back, Sammy J. Oh, bringing it back. Oh, that song. Yeah. I've always said someone needs to bring back the boogie. I've always said They're that. They're good songs. They're great mm. songs. They're just such fun. Lady Gaga did have a reference to disco in one of her songs, but I believe it was Disco Stick. Now, what is a Disco Stick? Well, do you want to have the chat, the, the Birds and the Beast <laughs> chat with Heather, Sammy, Jade at all? <laughs> <That> is... <laughs> Do I need to Google this? No, definitely don't Google it and do not go to images. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't type disco <laughs> stick. But, Sammy, when, when was your first disco experience? Was it roller skating at the arenas with disco oh playing? God. Or you're still young, it'd be rollerblades, surely. I thought you were going to say something else then. Um, I... <laughs> Look, I did go to the roller drome, is that what it was called? But I was terrible, so bad, and I gave up quite quickly and didn't go back. So my my disco experiences probably at home, like my mum would play kind of different music in the house, like Diana Ross and Donna Summer. Like I just really loved them and the hair and you know the outfits and all of the above. Really. <laughs> Side note, Sam, I'm pretty sure our producer Nico was actually an ice skater back in the day. Is it that true, Nico? <laughs> I mean, yes. Were well, you an ice skater? No. I was a roller skater, correction. You were a oh, roller that's skater amazing. back in the day. I that's could imagine you in yep. spandex and then you give oh. the little jump and you turn around <laughs> and go back and it's backwards. Like wearing nothing oh, at all. stop it. <laughs> hey, Sammy, we have made a disco <laughs> song that we would like to run past you because we noticed that there was one missing off the album. There was a disco mm. song that you hadn't oh. covered. So we thought yeah. we'd come to the party here. And if you okay. need, need a B side, mate, we can put our manager in touch with your manager. We can talk about rates <laughs> later. So nice yeah. of you guys. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sarcasm detected. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is our disco attempt for you, Sammy J. Okay, okay. Insanity's rising. Humor's 
just getting low. <laughs> the big problem, of course, is what's on your radio. Cause this morning at the start time of somewhere around 5 a.m. comes the first line of misery. Thanks to Heather Dan and Ben. <laughs> it's One report and a little bit too honest, <laughs> if you're asking. Is it bad that I was dancing to that? <laughs> that <laughs> was, is hilarious. It was so insulting. Yeah, that, that is. Can we bad. get the roller skating routine to this song? <gasps> like Here that go. would just be brilliant. Sammy Your moment Jade, has come. You are a genius. We need to make a film clip for that. <laughs> Can we have a film clip, please? Yes, in his spandex from back in the day. And what was the name <laughs> yes. of the rink he used to go to, Nico? Skaters Paradise. <laughs> Oh, Skater's Paradise, yes. Samantha Jade, would you feature in the music video with him? Like, he can, like, throw you up in the air and do all the beautiful turns? Sure. Yeah, okay. (laughs) I love the pause. (laughs) Crap. Oh, my gosh, yeah. (laughs) Samantha Jade, official.com is where you can get all the details and you can get your hands on that album, all thanks to Sony. Is it out now, Sammy? It is out now, yes. Yeah, the tour is coming up very soon as well. It is coming up soon. I'm so excited about the tour. I mean, if you guys come, we should definitely do this song. Oh, we'll all wear spandex, mate, and we'll get it done. Yes. Take it away when you're ready. Go for it. Okay. Um, Heather, Dan, and Ben. Pack of losers. Heather, Dan, and Ben. Not again. Yeah. <laughs> and it's great that you remembered the words. We will make sure we edit that. It was so good, but yet insulting. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. Twin Town, Saturday, 8th September. Thanks so much, Sammy J. We'll oh, you thank you, guys. It's the Heather, Dan and Ben podcast on 90.9 CFM. And here we go. Another edition of Your Baby's Diary, Benny. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me anymore. Like, it, it just, this kid, honestly... He's aggressive, isn't he? I have to love him, I know, but now come on. His mother, your wife's birthday today. Today, you yes. You did only remember that yesterday. Well, I, well this morning, yes, I've remembered though, yeah, which well, is good. Coa didn't back you in to remember it all, so you've exceeded his expectations there. Let's have a listen to what he's written in his diary. Yeah, diary! We are in for a corker today. It's mum's birthday and my alleged father has almost certainly forgotten. I think that'll make it eight years in a row now, which is perfect punishment given what his dastardly Maroons did to my mighty blues not too long ago. Go the blues! Anyway, so he already unintentionally skipped this year's wedding anniversary and had to make up for it big time. Massage, candle at dinner, teary apology. I'm so sorry, baby. Don't leave me, baby. I can't live without you, baby. Literally, I don't even know how to work the microwave. Yuck. What's he going to do when he realises he's missed her birthday again? Even when he remembers he only buys her presents for himself, he got her a Polaris Razor farm buggy one year, a shotgun the next, and then a Toyota Hilux after that, which he thinks he saved because he made the licence plate say 001MOM. It's Australia, by the way, dum-dum, it's M-U-M. I heard him say once, it actually doesn't stand for mum anyway, but mates over missus. Oh, oh, <laughs> Pretty good for no. him, for once, actually. It would make more sense if he actually had mates, though. Who knows, maybe <laughs> mum will finally crack it this year and use her shotgun for the first time. On him. We can only dream. I'm out. Can't wait for the fireworks today. We'll report back next week. Ya boy, Kawa. Go to please. <laughs> it's the Heather, Dan and Ben podcast on 90.9 CFM. I shared the story yesterday about some controversy that happened in NRL circles over the weekend, and we've got the guy who it involves on the phone right now. But just to set it up, though, we played Legends of the League match, Australian match, 
up in Gladstone over the weekend. Scotty Prince played, Matty Bowen, Chris Walker, myself, Ashley Harrison played. And one of the things we do is we raise money for Junior Rugby League and a special school that we did. And the kids got to run out with us. And there's a moment in the match where we bring one of the special kids on and he, this little kid's name was Timmy and he had a moment and this was his moment. We kick off. Their halfback catches it for him. The crowd's going nuts. The ball goes to Timmy. I run up towards Timmy. I dive a metre away from him. I miss the tackle. Go, Jimmy! Scotty Prince runs, dives, misses the tackle. Yes. Matty Bowen's chasing him down the sideline. Go, Jimmy! Misses the tackle. Timmy's there in the clear. He's coming. You got this! He's got it. And then Ash Harrison clips his legs together. Joe behind when oh. someone runs. He goes flying in the air, head Uncle first Dad. into the ground. Timmy, no! Head first in the ground. Ball gets knocked on. Timmy is lifeless on the ground. Timmy, no! You two didn't believe me. Thought this couldn't happen. But we got Chris Walker on the phone to just to confirm it. I thought Ralph Shea could get stoned off. You're good mates with Troy who runs it. Do we know how little Timmy is? He hasn't left his bedroom. He hasn't no. come out. He, he hasn't eaten. They're thinking about taking him to get him checked. Now, to be fair, that's when I started not believing, when little Timmy hadn't eaten in the bedroom. The, yes, little, like, little sprinkle, I feel like, is going concur. on there. God bless little Timmy. That was his moment. And we've got Ash Harrison, who is the man in the moment. Ash, can you confirm, did you ankle tap poor little Timmy? <laughs> oh, guys, I've heard that this has been a dead set carve up. Like <laughs> I thought so. Ash, what actually uh, happened, what, Ash? You tell them what happened. Well, the first bit of information that's been false was Benny no, had no, a first no, one. Wait, 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 go. Go, <laughs> Ash, go. But the first one, Benny had it. You were the first one to dive and miss. Yep. Well, that's false. I will confirm I did ankle tap Timmy. Oh. Okay. Did, did, hang on. But, did everyone... but, but, but it was on the back of getting pushed in the back by. Who do you think would have pushed me in the back? Probably Hannah. Benny Hannah. Ben. Benny Hannah. Oh. No, no, wait. You ben pushed Ash Harrison. You, Harrison. you pushed him into Timmy. Is that what happened? You are a Benny desperate Hannah. man right now. You are. And now. And I've, I've gone to miss Timmy, and because I've got the extra push, I've clipped it for Tim. And Tim has gone in the air, hit the ground, the ball's gone spewing out. Can you and, tell me uh, the crowd reaction? How much did the crowd boo you when you got sent off? I know. I, I know. <laughs> How did and you feel? Like, I felt like just digging myself a hole and jumping out and never coming out again, but... Um, yeah, no. But did, hang on, Ash, moments. did Benny get away scot free, even though he pushed you in the back? I can't believe Benny has brought this story Why? to a head, and he and he hasn't. He, he's left out the most critical part. Ash, Ash, you're a desperate man. The Gold Coast can see right through your web of lies right now. <laughs> is there anything you want to say to Timmy, just in case he is listening? Oh yeah, Timmy. I mean, you know, get well soon, mate. Um, and I'm sure we'll see you back on the field soon. I mean. Two injuries here and there, are all part of rugby league, mate. But um, and send yeah, your medical yeah. bill to Ben Hannett, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, You'll be back. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, uh, right? Okay, I knew there was going to be something going on here. You Why gave him a massive shove in the back. Why honest, would you push him? Do you honestly believe I pushed? Like, come on. Yeah, yep. I, I believe Ash over you. Yep. Uh, did, it, did you push him? You got to stop I, pushing people, Ben. We've talked about this. Like Don't I push said, people. Desperate men. Do desperate things. Are you talking about yourself or Ash? Yeah. Ash. Oh, you're right. It's the Heather, Dan and Ben podcast on 90.9 CFM. All right, Benny, you got to pick up your game here because Dan's already beating you. We're doing the words for the new New South Wales spelling bee. Yeah. So what did that this, word mean, by this the way? Is, hang, what? Th th this isn't like equivalent game. of saying, Dan, go play a game of State of Origin and go win it for us. Like, no. I like, this that. is this is the opposite. I right? can do that. <laughs> I'm no good could at this you? stuff. Yeah. Could you do that, could I you? Could, I could do that. Like, really? With 16 other blocks. I literally <laughs> went to help. Yeah, I'd peel the oranges. <laughs> Still part of the team. You, you would stuff that up. <laughs> Somehow you'd get it in your eye. And the yeah. water boy. So okay. what, what was, so I got one before, but I don't know what the word means. What's the word mean? Okay, well, it it's a guess. something like machinima or machinima, and it's the creation of 3D animation films for computer games. Yeah, I knew that. There you go. Yeah. So you're already one out of ten. Mm -hmm. um, 
By yeah. the way, if you want to get involved, 13, 12, 16, if you know any of these words, oh, like, yeah. 13, feel 12, free to give us a call. Yeah, if you can spell one, we'll give you a prize. How about that? Yeah, sure. All right, give, give anyone. Okay. Um, all right, I'll give you one that I think is really easy. Munyaroo. 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 Can, can you put in this sentence, please? Um, spell Munyaroo. That's his this sentence. Australian native plant, Munyaroo, is very tasty. M U N. Mm. U. Munyaroo. Ah. Uh, double O. Okay, Dan? No, I'll just go with what Ben said. No, nah, you're both wrong. No, <laughs> Munyaroo. It's M U N Y E R. Sneaky. Double O. Right. You're close, though. So it's a plant. It's a plant. So yeah. these are the top ten hardest, and yep. it's from the New South Wales spelling bee, just yep. over the border. All right. Oh yeah, Give and this is like one. this is for kids aged five and six, by the way. Oh, God nerds. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, coming from you. I know. How bad is that? <laughs> They're really bad. <laughs> but, right, do you want another one? Uh, yeah. I'll, what? Go. Go on. No, I feel Give me bad. your excuses. I literally went somewhere for my daughter who's struggling with reading and writing, and yeah. everything he said on the board, like dyslexia and all these things, like. Yeah. Everything you said, that's me. Like, I've still got that. Like, I don't understand what you're saying. So you basically got diagnosed so, with dyslexia yesterday. And I think it's hereditary, yeah. Spell dyslexia. Oh, man. Don't I, do that to him. <laughs> it's the worst, isn't it? It's Let's like, just say it starts with D, okay, Dan? Who it's like telling that? someone with a list just to like go, spell like this. Two words for you, D and a H. <laughs> All right? Well, I think you're right there. Can I go back to the game now? Sure. Yeah, okay. Lisp is a mean one, though, isn't it? Who came up with the names of these diseases? Here's another one. Yeah. Null banger. What? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Put it in a sentence. Um, geez, this is a tiny null banger. Null? Okay, so that's like a null banger. Null banger. No, is there L in there? Null? Yeah, there's an L. Yep. Okay. N-U-L? Nope. <laughs> N-O-L. N-O-L. Yep. Okay, yep. all right, so far. Null banger. B-A-N-G-E-R. Yeah, banger. Benny, he's bloody no. now. Oh. <laughs> B-E-N-G-E-R. Yeah, we'll take that. It's a tiny possum. We'll take that. Don't you reckon it sounded like something dirty, though? I was pretty happy about that. Yeah. That null banger. Sounds like something in the Kama Sutra. <laughs> <laughs> Next to the wheelbarrow. <laughs> Yo, down with null What's banger. Wheel- I'll show you later. Oh, the- <laughs> give us one more. 13, 12, okay. 16. Come on, Heather, I'll give you a word. If you can spell it, we will give you a prize. We'll give you... Um, Tickets to see the Suns v Richmond this Saturday, Metricon Stadium. Betty, yeah, you'll be there. I'm going there with all the kids. There you go. Yep. Okay. Give all us right. one more, though, before we go. Alicius. Oh. Can we take that up next? You can't guess what it is yet. Have some time to think about it. E-L-Y. I thought it started with an A. Is it A? No. Alicius. You've e- got to be able to spell oh, Alicius. Oh, don't give them too much time. They'll Google it. Elysius. Oh, we've got people calling already. Oh, this is great. Oh, oh, come on, boys. You better beat them now. E-L-Y-S-I-U-S. Who wants to help Dan here? All right, 13, 12, 16. way off. Here we go. <laughs> it's the Heather, Dan and Ben podcast on 90.9 CFM. Really what are we doing? Know. We're doing a spelling bee. Why are we doing a spelling bee? Well, because these words have just been released. They're the top hardest ones for the New South Wales spelling bee that's coming up for kids aged five and six. So. Alicius. Benny, have a crack. Oh, Alicius. A L I S. Nah, you're already wrong. Oh, it's an E. Is it an E? Give it a go. Alicius. Tell me when I get it wrong. E okay. L Y. Nah, you're wrong. That's an E-Y. A. Y. No. That's an A. It's an A. Alicius. A L Y. A L I. Closer. Flippin', just give me the like A double L I A C E O U S, but it's pronounced Alessius. And we wonder why kids get bullied. Like honestly, <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> Relating to or denoting plants of a group that comprises the <laughs> onions and other. If you can spell that, you know what a wedge is. There's another word in there that I don't know how to say. This is really ridiculous. And Lisa's called in from Arundel. 13, 12, 16 is the number. Um, If you can spell one of these words, Lisa, Maltz is about to give you one, you'll win tickets to see the Suns v. Richmond this Saturday at Metricon. You ready, Lisa? Here we go. Diplococcus. Oh, excuse you. (laughs) (laughs) D. D. Wait, can you say it again? Diplococcus. You use it in a sentence? Like your diplococcus is showing? <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, pop your diplococcus D- away, mate. D. 
I P L I. Nah, you're wrong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, D I P L O C O C C U S, but you apparently pronounce the C's as K's and the O's as A's. What's it, mate? A bacterium that occurs as pairs of cochlea. Oh, who cares? Fem- fem- uh, Dan in Coomba Bar. Mm. Do you want to have another crack at this, Dan? Oh. C- I've got you, I'll give you a different word. You ready? Righto. Here we go. Good Vada. Oh. Sorry? <laughs> I know. I thought the same thing. It's the thing the Diplococcus goes in. <laughs> <laughs> Good Vada. Gerd Varda. Yep. G-U-R-D-V-A-R. Nah. Nah, it's a place of worship. Uh, it's G-U-R-D-W-A-R-A. But oh, they decided to turn that W into a V. That's a bit of fun. Shall I give them both one word and yeah. then they can see if someone can get it? We'll have a tiebreaker here. Yeah. Lisa, you're back. Dan on the line as well. Just here say we your name if you think you know how to spell it, all right, guys? Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right, here we go. Sphemata. <laughs> Are you trying to say these in an annoying way? <laughs> no, that's how it's pronounced. I've had to Google it. Lisa. Sphemata. Dan. What's Svermata, guys? It's a type of um, paint. That's got your tongue. <laughs> the technique. <laughs> no, no, neither of them want to crack. Sfu, okay, Svermato. Try that. that. None of the guys Sfumato. want to I am so glad. Like, I'm not smart. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's the Heather, Dan and Ben podcast on 90.9 CFM. Stars. Hi. Breaking news came out last night on our Instagram account. Scoopla with Bella Frizza. Katy Perry is on the Gold Coast. She's a dream world, is that right? Yeah, so you would have seen on her Instagram yesterday, it popped up, she was at dream world. She was actually there on Monday. She wasn't there yesterday. Uh, so she's been getting around. Uh, she performs tonight at Brisbane Entertainment Centre. She also performs on Friday night. And it's looking like, I mean... You know, when artists are here, they don't go to Brisbane on their days off. They come to the Gold Coast. Correct. Yeah. There's nothing so, in Brisbane. Yeah. Exactly. Except a dirty river yeah. that you can't swim in. <laughs> and, and a they, bridge. Everyone's like, they. Um, when you say Brisbane doesn't have beaches, they go, no, we've got one at South Bank. We've got, we've got Kodak <laughs> yeah, Beach. Everyone pees in it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You know, all that sandy Sorry, urine man. pit. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I'm sure Katy Perry would love to hang out there. No, but she she was there on Monday. So if you were at Dreamworld on Monday, you probably walked past her and you didn't even realise because she's, you know, all looking quite normal. And with the fact that she has no hair now, she wears like a hat and she just looks completely normal. She wouldn't have had a team of people around or anything? I, just... I would assume she had an entourage, yeah. Maybe, but I mean, people walk around in groups at Dreamworld all the time. Exactly, yeah, I know. Maybe. So maybe you did see her if you did. <laughs> maybe tourists 16. with selfie sticks. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or, or if you just have friends, you go there. Yeah, really? With friends. This is good. You, you should, should get try it one time. I should, I should try <laughs> that out, shouldn't I? <laughs> what, dream well? Yeah, I'll come with. No, nah, friends. Having friends. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> There's old, <laughs> there's old solo Maltman again on the wipeout by herself. <laughs> <laughs> Having a blast, FYI. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, you don't have to fight with anyone as to where you go to next. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I keep telling myself. Because <laughs> I can only tell myself. I chose this life <laughs> with no friends. <laughs> yeah, let's go Let's go get on the wipeout after the show, guys, one by one. I'm so lonely. <laughs> I have Someone that you probably want to be friends with, though, is Ruby Rose. She's playing the new Batwoman. Yes. Don't even. Yes. I'm gutted. How yeah. hot is she? Yes. Amazing. Is the new Batwoman gay? Yes. So it's a new. It's a series focusing on an LGBTQ superhero. She just confirmed it via her Instagram, saying that she's thrilled and honoured. She said, "This is something I would have died to have had uh, on TV when I was a young member of the LGBT community, who never felt represented on TV and felt alone and different." Yeah, that's cool. I feel like Batwoman probably would be gay anyway. Like, I just feel like Batwoman don't need no man. To be telling her what totally. to do, you know what I mean? Hundred percent. I would not want to date that woman. That would be terrifying. <laughs> yeah, and I just think oh, Ruby Rose is just so perfect. They've nailed it. Yep. How so good. <laughs> you're like in love with her, aren't you, Heather? No, no, no she's filthy. Look, you're up, Mons? I tried out for the role and I didn't oh, get it. Oh, <laughs> did you? Yeah. Was oh, that the one? Yeah. 
What does a rehearsal for a gay Batwoman involve? <laughs> Put this spandex on and do some gay things. <laughs> No, yeah, what, what did you have to do? Stop laughing, I was devastated. What I only just do? found out this morning. Uh, to, well, did, you didn't just find out then. Like, you <laughs> no, I found out early this morning at I like 5 a.m. Yeah. Because she announced it three hours ago on Instagram. Yeah. What do you do, though? Just read lines to a camera, like do a screen test? You, you send yeah. audition scenes and you're asked to put it down and then send it across. And I sent it across, like, literally two days before paparazzi photos showed her training for it, which means she had it anyway. they didn't oh, even yeah. look at my tape. Of course not. But, well, if Ruby Rose Dutting. says yes, yeah you, yeah, you just go, yeah, send your auditions in anyway. And it's what? nice to have lost to her. Can, can like, we see the tape? Can we be, see yeah. the... What you have to do to be a... Yeah, I can show you guys, but I can't release it because I'll get in trouble. What are the lines? What's the dialogue like? Can you give us a hint? <laughs> is it, is it, give us a line. Is it good dialogue or is it cheesy? It's really good dialogue and I can't give you a line because I can get sued by oh. CW. Because it's yeah. an NWA thing. Okay. I, could, I can release it after the that episode comes out and I don't mind doing that because it's not a crappy audition. It's a good audition, but yeah, I won't right. show you some of the others. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. More guys anyway. to the website. CFM.com.au It's the Heather, Dan and Ben podcast on 90.9 CFM.